Tend me not to the marriage of true minds and men impediments. For love is not love which alters when an alteration finds, nor bends with remover to remove. Oh no, it is an ever fixed mark which looks upon tempest and is never shaken. Oh, hello, I'm Maggie McCary with the Red Lunch Theater Company. The recital hall and Roosevelt itself offers us an opportunity to get together as a community and really enjoy um, and experience and appreciate musical performances from folks here, from folks around the region, around the state, even international visitors would be wonderful. And I think it's an eco it will be an economic driver for the town because activity generates activity. So I think if we have events here, the, the financial benefit is going to work its way down onto Main Street. And so I think it's gonna be a great asset for all of us. The great thing about having the recital hall and the larger theater in the same building is that it's going to generate so much revenue, it's going to bring people into town. If we can start getting professional performances traveling through this area, um, you know, they come, they come into Billings and they come into Bozeman, but if we could bring it in, it's going to generate so much for not only for the off-season in Red Lodge, uh, but for the Roosevelt itself, which is going to be pretty, pretty fun to bring in a whole other crowd of people like that. You know, pre-COVID, we were doing really big shows with a full band. And in response to, to COVID, I started doing a lot of small, intimate shows and have really enjoyed it. I think it gives songs kind of a new life when the vibe is everyone's sitting down with the intention of listening rather than seeing a show. I think people can hear the music a lot better in those small, intimate settings. If we had a stage that was working for chamber music year-round, we could, we could have regular touring groups that could perform on this stage. And that would bring people not just from Red Lodge, but from all the surrounding counties. Well, it's, it's nice to have places to perform, and um, you know, this place with all the windows and um, the view uh, uh, should make it a special place to do that. As a musician, I think it would mean everything to have varied spaces for intimacy and different size performances in this town. And so to have like essentially three sized gathering spaces in this building really allows us to have more artists come through and then tailor the space to whatever art is, is in that space. Large shows have an energy that is awesome. You know, you can feel the scintillating effect of, a, of you know, thousands of people. It's pretty sexy, but a small intimate venue like this allows you to maintain eye connection. You can actually see the faces change, the looks, the emotions, the way people lean into the music. And as an artist, it's all about connection. It's the most powerful part of what we do. As a guitarist and a poet and a singer, I love being so close to the audience that literally every brush stroke of the guitar and every note that I sing creates an emotional response that I get to be part of. Having a really wonderful recital hall is a tremendous asset to a community. When you have musicians coming in and playing, it brings an economic boost to the community without being any drain on the community. We don't have to cut down trees or dig holes in the ground or tear mountains down to make something that's valuable and worthwhile to the community. We just come in and play, and people come hear us play. And that tends to spread money around the community really effectively. We need a sprinkler system and a lift so that people who are wheelchair bound can too access the space. So now there's a campaign to which you can contribute to help us reach our goal. Grandmas, this is great one to contribute to for the simple reason that when little Nancy and little George come up here to perform for the very first time, if you're like me, you're going to be able to hear every single word and that's worth it. So get out your coin purses, your wallets, whatever, and throw a couple of quarters our way because everything helps. And pretty soon, young people, chamber players, guitarists, and many others are going to 
grace the stage and breathe life into this wonderful room once more. Thanks for listening. <laughs>